Hey, and welcome to Fun Swedish! Last week, we recommended six Swedish movies you need to watch in order to understand Swedish culture and Swedish behavior. And one movie we didn't put on the list was the horror movie Midsummer. Because this movie doesn't represent the Swedish Midsummer at all. It's an unrealistic representation of our culture. Because it always rains on Midsummer. And the only horror you will experience during Midsummer is when you realize that you need to dance and sound like a frog. But more on that later. So, let's talk about real Swedish Midsummer, which is actually coming pretty soon. But before we do that, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to this channel, because we're going to upload new videos every week. The first thing you need to know is that Midsommar is super important for Swedish people. It's so important that some Swedish people even think that Midsummer is our national day. But it's not. Vad är Midsommar? Midsommar is the celebration of summertime and the season of fertility. It takes place on the longest day of the year, also called Sommarsolståndet. You can basically say that we celebrate the light. By this time of the year, the sun in the north of Sweden never goes down. <sighs> Midsommar is mostly a pagan tradition, but it has also some influences from Christianity. När är midsommar? Midsommar is always on Freda, Friday, and it always takes place somewhere between the 19th and 25th of June. Hur firar vi midsommar? With family, friends and even our neighbors. Swedes go either to the local midsommarfirande, which is normally open for everyone, or to a private midsommarfirande at someone's landställe. Vad gör vi på midsommar? Most Swedes, especially women and children, begin their day by picking flowers to make a pretty blomsterkrans that they will wear the whole day. Look how pretty Anders Tegnell looks in his. This blomsterkrans, also called midsommarkrans, normally consists of björkris, blad och blommor. And this midsommarkrans is so important that we even have a metro station called like this, midsommarkransen. But the flower picking doesn't stop there, especially not for all the single ladies. The tradition is that all unmarried girls should pick seven different types of flowers without speaking and then they should put them under the pillow. This, according to the tradition, will make them dream about their future husband. Swedes are not very religious people, but we do believe that nature has special powers, especially on midsommar. Another reason to pick flowers is to decorate the midsommarstång with them. Vad är en midsommarstång? It's a stång, a pole that looks like a mix between a phallic symbol and a cross. Some people say that it symbolizes fertility and therefore the phallic symbol. But others say that it was an attempt to make a Christian cross. Hence, the Christian influences on Midsummer. Anyhow, the Midsummerstong is the symbol of Midsummer and where all Swiss gather and dance around it. The dancing ritual is a great opportunity to talk to some Swedes and even make physical contact with them since we very often hold hands when we dance around the Midsummerstong. Another Midsummer tradition is to press the like button. What kind of music do we like to dance to? Pop music like ABBA? No. We like to dance to old folk song music about animals, such as Smogrodona and Mors Grisar. It can look like this when we dance. And after all this dancing, we get very hungry. So, vad äter vi till midsommar? Kind of the same as for Christmas or any other Swedish holiday. Seal och potatis, herring and potatoes are crucial. We might also add some gräslök and some snaps to it. And some jordgubbar, strawberries. This might be the only thing that we only eat for midsummer, since juni is the strawberry season. 
Every year on the news, they talk about the strawberry situation before midsummer. Will there be enough strawberries for midsummer? Swedes just need to have their strawberries. A very common entry job for many young Swedes is actually to sell strawberries on the street or by the road for midsummer. While we eat and drink, we continue singing songs, mostly snapsvisor, which are drinking songs, such as Helangor and other classic drinking songs, which has weird lyrics that only drunk Swedes could have come up with. Midsummer is one of the wildest days of the year in Sweden due to the heavy alcohol consumption and fights. So during this day, the Swedish police won't have time for long fika breaks at work. And apart from drinking, eating and singing, Swedes will also play some games on midsummer to push Swedes to mingle because we meet other people by doing activities. Popular games are hoppa sek, balansera egg på sked and kub. Every year, Swedes worry about the midsummer weather situation. There are special weather reports talking about the hot topic. Will it rain during midsummer? More often than not, it does rain. But that won't stop the Swedes from celebrating midsummer and going out. It might make the hoppa sek a little bit more challenging, but cancelling or staying home, it's not an option. The last thing you need to know about midsummer is that it often marks the beginning of a Swede's five weeks vacation. A common phrase you will hear at work nowadays is this one. Jag jobbar fram tills midsommar, sen tar jag semester. So, those were the basic things you need to know about Swede's favorite holiday, midsommar. And before we stop, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel. Hej då och glad midsommar!